Developing tonight in California, on edge tonight after the state's top law enforcement official announced there would be no criminal charges filed against the Sacramento police officers involved in last year's shooting of an unarmed black man. Stephon Clark, our Steve Patterson, has late details. After protests erupted overnight, today the family of Stephon Clark not getting the news they hoped to hear. No criminal charges against the officers involved. California's attorney general announcing the results of an independent review in the shooting death of the 22-year-old last year. Officers were responding to reports of vandalism when they encountered Clark in his grandmother's backyard. The officers fired a total of 20 times, saying they believed he was armed. Instead, he was holding a phone. Both the DA and attorney general's review concluded the officers feared for their lives. The officers began firing upon seeing Mr. Clark advancing and stopped firing almost immediately after Mr. Clark fell to the ground. Clark's family has now filed a $20 million federal lawsuit against the city. Clark supporters sparked unrest in Sacramento last night with more than 80 people arrested. Tonight, more protests are expected downtown, fighting what they say is a lack of justice for Stefan Clark. Steve Patterson, NBC News. Elsewhere tonight, crash investigators have gotten their first look at the black boxes from that massive cargo jet flying for Amazon from Miami to Houston that crashed into a lake, killing three pilots. With no clear evidence pointing to why the plane went down, the black boxes may hold the secrets, and they reveal 18 seconds of horror. Here's NBC's Tom Costello. With the water receding in Trinity Bay, recovery teams were today working through the wreckage of Atlas Air Flight 3591, the mud revealing the landing gear and pieces of the fuselage. While at the NTSB lab in Washington, investigators have been analyzing the plane's black boxes. The NTSB says the cockpit voice recorder captured radio contact with controllers and between the pilots themselves during the last 18 seconds as the plane went into a sudden, unexplained nosedive. Forensics teams are still evaluating the flight data recorder with 350 parameters of data, from engine performance to the pilot's actions at the controls. Until we have further data, we can't draw any conclusions. Everything's on the table from a mechanical problem to a pilot to a deliberate act. Everything's on the table. The 767 has had a very good safety record. This only the third non-terror related crash in 38 years, though two high profile engine fires on the ground in Chicago and Fort Lauderdale were very close calls. Today, most 767s are used for military missions and cargo flights. The hope is that the plane's black boxes, which are really orange, will help reveal what happened to this Amazon air flight. Lester? All right, Tom, thank you.